Well, in the past, enterprise architecture programs have um, you know, often failed. And there's a, there's a couple key reasons for this that we see as we're engaging with clients. Um, one can be uh, just that the program is too technical, that it's focused on technology and again, details and standards that are not unimportant, but they aren't really driving value. And, and it makes EA not part of the conversation in the, in the boardroom and in the strategic uh, decisions that are made. So it kind of isolates EA. Uh, second factor that I often see is that the person who's running enterprise architecture is trying to be too much of an authoritative figure and really trying to say, hey, these are architecture decisions, I'm going to make them. And obviously you can't do that. It needs to be a collaborative approach. And we do a lot of mentoring of the person who is running architecture, the chief architect, VP of architecture, and really help them understand that their role has to be about facilitating enterprise architecture. Um, and not trying to force their views and choices on people. Another aspect of that is I try to say we want to avoid unnecessary variation and we want to avoid unaligned decisions. So the role of whoever's running architecture should be to make sure that the decision is made with the right people in the room and the right information in front of them. And once you do that, you start to really build that collaborative process that's so effective. So one of the things that we often run into in organizations is they've tried to create an EA program and they've used something like TOGAF. TOGAF is a very accepted standard for EA and there's a there's a you know quite a handbook that'll help you implement an EA program. But it's about a 900 page handbook and um, what happens is people try to take something like that and use it in their organization and they can quickly get lost or they can lose people along the way. Um, so a key part of our model is we've tried to be very practical about enterprise architecture. And believe me, we can go deep into TOGAF. We know it, we understand it, but we also recognize that it's not good for everybody in the organization to try and understand that. So we've tried to create a model that is much simpler and easier to get you started. And then as you mature and you want to go deeper, you can, but we can deliver quick results um, rather than trying to wade through a 900-page manual and figure out how to implement it in your organization.